Mm -hmm. But what we're talking about today is the initial access of abortions and women who need them. Sure. Because you've not convinced me that women need them. Uh, certainly, they don't need them. They don't need to kill another human you being. You may not feel like they need them, but you know what? I'm prospering. I'm actually out here. I'm creating a life for myself, and I'm hoping to make a future for myself. And other women are on the same page as I am. Are you saying that you've had an abortion? Is that what you're saying? I'm not going to say that publicly. Because okay. Well, you just came out here and said I'm. Well, you just said I'm prospering. You just brought up abortion, so I'm, I'm confused as to the train so of logic. You know Why does what? that matter? Yeah, I did. Okay. You know what? I had to sit in that chair, and I had to face the facts that yes, what I was doing was something that was going to change my future, mm -hmm. and it did. Yeah. Because I was left alone. I was left to pay for everything. I did not qualify for any kind of funding or payments that people say sure. exist. And you, everybody who wants to say I would have adopted your baby, I'm sorry, but go adopt the other 4,000 that are already in foster care programs here. Yeah. And you can't tell just, me... Just because not everyone here would adopt that baby doesn't mean it's justifiably it's, killed. It doesn't mean that it was justifiably meant to force me to have a baby. No one's forcing you to have a baby. You would if you took away the law. No, you no would. one would be forcing you to have a baby. Yes. We'd simply be forbidding you from killing it. No, you would be forcing... No, you no would one's be, forcing um, you to have a baby. You know the only what? forcible act there is the act of killing. I want to ask you how many single, how many single women, how many single parents who are women are in poverty? Do you know the percentage? It could not be less relevant. Mm. How is that less relevant? Because, because those, because I'm going to tell you from a perspective. Well, you just of asked me, being, but then you said I'm going to tell you. Did you want to ask me? Yeah. Okay. Do you know the it percentage? It could not be less relevant because you're not justified in killing somebody based on poverty, income, race, sex, gender. Period. It's never justified. That's that's hilarious because a lot of our politicians have justifiably killed other people for less. Really? Hmm. Yeah. I don't. Well, okay. I I can't speak for all politicians, but. To go to your argument, I don't believe you're justified in killing someone because of a lower income level. Mm, I feel like I'm justified in saving myself from having to be forced into that lower income level just because I don't have the accesses of other women who are able to sure. what, have a husband to support them, have the ability to pay the $15,000 plus dollars in medical bills. Because like that I said, it's hard occur. to go back. It's hard to go back when you have a baby. Like you talk about going back to school, it's really hard to go uh, back. Yeah, it's hard to get educated. It's hard to even support yourself. It's hard to breathe right now as it is. It's hard you to go back in time and then unring that a bell. Single person. Yeah. That baby doesn't get to go back. That baby was never alive yeah, it because was. it wasn't viable until yeah, it it's was. outside of the womb. And we want to go that back to baby. technicalities. That was a baby with its own. Listen, you might not like it. No, that was a baby. Let me tell you something. What you ended was a unique genetic code that had eye color, hair color how tall it would be, how much it would weigh, its personality, proclivity toward mental illness, what kind of hair pattern to male pattern baldness. When you, when you had that abortion performed, you eliminated all of that. That's a scientific fact. 